Hello, this is not a spring chicken. As you can tell, I'm starting to get hungry. But the big news today is last night was the Screen Actors Guild, and George Clooney, although they love him, they do not love him as much as they would like to have loved him. Although it might have been kind of difficult to give him the best actors, given that Jean de Jardin has been winning all the awards everywhere else. Although this is all his peers. And do they still love him? Hmm. Well, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. So is the love affair over for George Clooney? Well, actually what happened was, was it's not Clooney's time yet. He's already got an Oscar for acting and an Oscar for writing. If he'd have submitted under the Best Supporting Actor, which they <laughs> said that the Eyes of Mark, which was also his movie, was his best acting job, he'd have he'd have beat Christopher Plummer this year. <coughs> and that's the problem. Um, you know, he, he wanted the best actor, and what we saw, I mean, basically, he was overdoing the bit on trying to look happy and cheerful at every place he went to. And basically they said, one of the people said at one of the events, he wouldn't go away. Well, here, here's part of it. I like Clooney. I thought he was very charming. He's a nice guy personally. We've met him. He's really I, a super nice guy. I thought guy. he was very charming during all the Q&As. But I saw the, the Descendants. And he wasn't. He was I didn't think there was anything really special about it. He was playing. It, it was a made-for-TV movie that they released as a feature film that's doing relatively well in the theaters that basically was another Clooney politically correct movie. But on the artist, you saw the artist. The artist was a magnificent because, let's put it this way, the reason the gentleman that got the best director's award from the Director's Guild got it was because it all of the actors worked because they got a chance to act. There was no dialogue. And that's the hard all part. Is it be, it's all acting. All total <laughs> acting. They don't had no words to use. And it all had to do, if you, we, we wrote a review on it, it, had to do with the fact that the, the actor, John Desjardins, was an actor that was out of place. The movie that was being made in Hollywood in a sound era was out of place. It's all about being out of place, and they like that theme in Hollywood. Mm. Plus the fact that they think they owe one to use Montan, the greatest French actor that ever lived, and he never got anything, so... Well, do you think they'd really be making it up for him with this other guy? Yeah, they do it all the time. It was uh -huh. Just like a few years ago in Denzel Washington, he said, I realized that we're getting, these are the black awards, and I'll take it anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, in part, in, here's part of it is, the same thing with Plummer, is like, they never gave it to Plummer before, and this he will probably, it. he deserved it. This is, and I know some of you think, well, why in the world do they do that? Well, this is kind of how Hollywood Because sometimes works. they give awards for body of work. They don't give it for one picture. The, remember, uh, we have tried, I explained this thing, I wrote a piece about it, the, the Motion Picture Academy of Arts and Science is not a popularity contest for the people. It is whom the Academy thinks should win. Well, and here's... Is George Clooney is going to be around again next year? I expect he'll have another movie He's had three that's nominated for an Oscar. In four years. Yeah, so it's not like this is his last chance. Christopher Plummer, that probably was it his is last chance. He's 84 years of age. He's like, okay, Christopher Plummer is like my age, except in deteriorating health. And I don't think Christopher Plummer, I think, is a lot like um, Lloyd Bridges in that he really can't understand not being as healthy. Yeah. And so he won't anymore. have another chance. And then Jean Dujardin, it's like, has he made anything after the artist? No, but the problem is he was a major French star. He's, he, he, he's a major French actor, sort of lampooning his, his career he's had in France where he played secret agents and stuff. Ah. He, and he basically, he's, he's a singer and dancer, and he is the top, I think he's the top musical, okay, we're going to put it this way. Guise Montana was the top musical comedy performer in all of France. And guess what Mr. Jadon is? Uh-huh. Yeah, so... Well, I will tell you, I took a picture with him, and he is rather charming. In fact, when he posed for the picture, he said, say, sex. Yeah. <laughs> well, I did see that picture where he's sort of looking at the cleavage. So, yeah. And he's got a wife that's really built, and he's looking at the cleavage. So, <laughs> and, oh, I guess there is other news other than the Screen Actors Guild. Oh, no, but that is actually the big news. Clooney was pissed. His biz. Um, Bernanke has finger on trigger for new bond buys. But the problem is that doesn't help the economy any. When, if you keep spending money, okay, what it is is that 
The only thing that is really doing well in the United States is printing press sales because Bernanke, <laughs> and Bernanke is basically burning the presses out, printing money that is worthless. Mm. And Romney is the aggressor in final Florida debate. Well, I know. That was stupid because he said Romney, by, Romney does not mm. look good as an aggressor because Romney is basically... Uh, okay, here's what happens. Romney will scare you because when you have somebody that is as uh, wimpy as Romney, they always want to prove oh, when they get to be in a military. You know, like, remember? Uh, basically, uh, I got into an argument last night about, I, I finished the argument off by the fact that, you know, that um, Barack Obama, I met Barack Obama. If you want a good father figure, Barack Obama is it. If you want a good neighbor, Barack Obama is it. But if you want a good president, Barack Obama is not because he's not cut out for it. And of the two people, Romney is even cut out less. He figures, well, they owe me this presidency because my father couldn't run because my father was born in Mexico. He was born in the embassy, not a Mexican citizen. He was born in the embassy. <laughs> Pentagon, Army Marines to shrink as budget slows. Which the, everybody said, and that's not going to happen. They said that what will happen February the 1st in 2013, they're going to ignore the cuts because you can't cut 50% uh, of the military budget and expect to be able to have a fully operational military, so that's a dead deal. And Somali captors move U.S. hostage after SEAL raid. Isn't that amazing? So they managed to get, they managed to get some, and in the getting it a sum, they made it more dangerous for others. That's brilliant, but that's our president and his Navy seem, SEAL Team 6, in which everybody knows where they live, they know who they are, where their families are, where the school kids go, thanks to our president. Mm -hmm. And um, Egypt bans travel for U.S. official son and nine others. Oh yeah, uh, Ray LaHood's son is trapped there and they think he could get five to six years in Why? prison. Why? Because they don't, okay, the Muslim Brotherhood of whom Obama said will not be in charge, are in charge now. Mm -hmm. They don't like Americans and now they got Americans that, okay, here's a good thing. The main source of income, there are two sources of income for the uh, for the people in Egypt. One is the Suez Canal, which the Jews could stop at any moment they have. The second is tourism. They killed the tourism business by letting the Muslim left the Muslim extremists take control. And when the canal is shut, that country is going to be brusted like you would not believe. Mm. And new taste for Thai elephant meat. I know, and that's something. They said the people are starting to eat meat again, elephant meat all over the world where elephants are, which is not. It is. They said it's a good sign and a bad sign. If it's a good sign, is means they'll breed elephants, mm -hmm. and they have to have elephants. A bad sign is if they don't breed the elephants, they'll, they'll decimate the herds. What does elephant meat taste like? Um, well, it's a delicacy to people in Africa and those Asian countries where elephants are, which is why there's fewer and fewer. Okay, elephant habitat is as much being destroyed in Asia as they are eating the elephants. Oh, really? They love elephants. Oh. Um, no energy industry backing for the word fracking. I know. We keep doing this fracking. What? what? I, I don't fracking understand. Is a, a fracking is a means of cracking rocks in order to get oil out. But because Obama has basically said it's a politically incorrect word, and it is now listed on the Associated Press incorrect word list, you're not supposed to say fracking. Also, basically, it was created by Glenn Larson on Battlestar Battlestar Galactica. I haven't been working on that episode, but they said fracking this and fracking that. And Olive Garden tries makeover to boost sales. God, the most stupid thing. They have decided to go politically correct. They're going to make a healthy food menu for the people when they come into the restaurant. You don't go to an Italian restaurant to eat healthy food. You go in to have cardiac mm -hmm. arrest. But the president's wife has decided that their healthy menu is what the people of this nation want. Meaning she's the oligarch. Oh, uh, you'd be asked to bowl. Is there any truth to the rumor that Darden, who owns the Olive Garden, are supporting the president of the United States re-election bid? Mm -hmm. Which means they're going to sink the chain in order to please the Obamas. Well, I guess it's their business. <coughs> no, it's the stockholder's business. Oh, that's true. It's the stockholder's business. They, they, uh, they had to. Get, I'd be pretty upset if I was one of their stockholders. They had, they had five. They, they've, they've done nothing but lose money since Obama became president.
Isn't that amazing? And Twitter may censor tweets in individual countries. Yeah, and that basically is pissing everybody off. <laughs> because you're not supposed to be reading what's being sent, but you know that every, every uh, phone company listens in on telephone messages. Mm -hmm. Facebook reads the stuff that's being said. Google, yeah, Google reads Google Mail. They all read the stuff, folks. They got somebody who's 24 hours a day reads everybody and looks at everything. And AT&T lost $6.7 billion in the fourth quarter. It's first lost in three years. And AT&T remains heavily dependent on iPhone for subscribers. I know. And um, basically, an iPhone did not come out with a decent iPhone. So guess what happened? Mm -hmm. They lost, uh, no, they didn't pick up any new subscribers. And it will be next fall before they come out with the iPhone 5, which was supposed to come out. You know, was it two months ago? Yeah, well, actually, was three, four, five? I, it's whenever it's four point eight or something. Whenever or something. they did, it was supposed to be the five. But see, part of it is, is um, iPhone was supposed to be brought out on other carriers too. Yeah. But they've been having some difficulty on it. Yes. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, just because the press says it is doesn't mean they're telling you the truth. Mm.